very kind introduction. And can I just say what a pleasure and privilege it is to be here today. And as has been said earlier on, uh, we are in probably one of the finest locations that we could have hoped for to celebrate Diwali, the Supreme Court. And uh, Beth Bevan, when she mentioned that she's never been here, uh, she's absolutely right. I suspect there are many more people here uh, who savour this moment. And uh, I, the fact that Beth and I both did a TV interview in one of the courts is uh, probably something that's probably a first, because uh, broadcasting as a rule is not allowed in courts. Uh, but uh, we accept that, of course, the court is not sitting at the moment. Uh, can I start off also by thanking the sponsors, uh, Bev and Britain, uh, and also the Hindu Lawyers Association, for uh, organising tonight and getting such a wonderful group of people here. The beauty of this location, of course, as Beth said, it overlooks Parliament Square, but also it overlooks the statue of Mahatma Gandhi, uh, which is just out there and which was unveiled uh, not so long ago. And of course we will be having the visit in the not so distant future by Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India as well. I'm not sure that visiting the Supreme Court is part of his agenda, uh, but I suspect he may be uh, visiting some areas not too far away. The theme for tonight, nurturing leadership, is a very important one. And of course it is interwoven with Nival. From a strictly legal point of view, I think it is fair to acknowledge that the leadership that Britain has provided for law means that we have the finest legal system in the world. 800 years ago, we had the sealing of Magna Carta, and when we had in February of this year the celebration of that 800th anniversary, we had nearly a hundred countries represented in the Queen Elizabeth Hall, not too far from here. We had justice. Uh, ministers, we had attorneys general, we had chief justices, and it was an extraordinary event that they all came to the home of Magna Carta. That leadership which I speak of has been continuous throughout the generations. It is such that English law is used in various parts of the globe, and Britain remains the preeminent place for a lot of commercial transactions from across the globe, when they have difficulties, they will come to the UK to resolve their disputes. And it is because of that continuing leadership provided by the judiciary, provided by the bar, provided by the business <coughs> and all other sectors of the legal profession. That leadership that permeates through the generations that we have maintained our preeminence and we continue to do so. And that is notwithstanding the fact that there are other areas in the world that compete with us for the business that comes here. And isn't it ironic that in so doing, they recruit retired UK lawyers, retired UK judges, to go and staff the rival organizations that they set up. We are, of course, here to celebrate Diwali. And Diwali, as we heard earlier on from Pranav and others, is of course the celebration of Lord Ram returning from exile after 14 years. It was night time when he returned. And so his subjects, because they loved him so much and they valued his leadership, they went out and lit lamps to make sure that the path into his kingdom was clear for him. Hence, Light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance, good triumphing over evil. And as we also heard mentioned, the battle that Lord Ram had with Ram, and that itself was illustrative, in that it was a battle of good and evil, of knowledge and ignorance. And Ravan, of course, lost in the end, no matter how many heads he had to offer up to the arrows that came in his direction. But it is leadership which dharma, Hinduism, provides, because, of course, Hinduism speaks of service. It speaks of whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability. The Hindus here will be aware of 
the Bhagavad Gita, when Krishna talks to Arjun and says to him, Offer unto me all thy works, and rest thy mind on the Supreme. With inner peace, fight thou thy good fight, and leave the results unto me. In effect, do your duty, and leave the results to me. And that is the way many Hindus treat their service, their work, in whatever field it may be. Earlier on today I was speaking at the Diwali celebration for the Metropolitan Police in Scotland Yard, where some of you were present as well. And again, that is public service. And there again they were celebrating Diwali with its dharmic element. Not so long ago I was talking with Jayash Chaitanya, who is the chairman of the Hindu Lawyers Association. Uh, who incidentally the card be here today because I gather he's in Manchester doing his legal work. But he mentioned to me that the Hindu Shastras, and Hinduism of course, scriptures are found thousands of years ago, thousands of years before Christ. And he mentioned to me that the Shastras, which are basically the codes of conduct, actually speak of law, they speak of beyond a reasonable doubt, they speak of the law in the way that we speak of today. I hope uh, Jayesh did qualify the comments that he thought this was so, so if I'm wrong, then it's Jayesh's fault. <laughs> uh, but it is extraordinary that the writings that do go back in Sanskrit that have been translated do speak of the law. And I firmly believe that that may well be the case on the basis that the Hinduism speaks of service. So today we celebrate Diwali, we celebrate justice, we celebrate leadership. But we also, I very much hope, will remember those who are not so fortunate as us to celebrate. <coughs> because the world is quite a dangerous place, and I, for one, believe it is at its most dangerous that it's ever been. And I very much hope that the thoughts and prayers, we have Ganesh here, and that the thoughts and prayers of all those present here <coughs> And the good wishes of Diwali will permeate to some of those corners where there is no light, where evil does prevail. And we can hope that in a small way, the rays from this place will help make the world a slightly better place. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to be here today. I must apologize that I have another event to go to uh, now. So I apologize to the speakers who have followed that I won't be able to listen to their codes of wisdom, uh, but I hope that my being the warmer act has done the purpose for the uh, Indian people that have followed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.